not very snazzy. Oh, like thank you, sir. You got the pocket square going and everything, huh? I do this all myself. Yeah, do you? No, nothing no, like that. No. Would you blow your nose on that, or is that uh, against the rules? Uh, I would blow my own nose on You this. would? Yeah. Oh, OK, yeah. great. And then wash it very Welcome. Well. You, li well, I know you're on the show Gotham, so you do you live in New York? Uh, we do, yeah. You do, yes. Yeah. I lived here for 13 years, I think. Yeah, you do. Well, we ran into each other. At the, you, yeah, uh, we ran into each other at the gas station once, <laughs> and I'll never forget it. And I, I don't know. know why. It was such an because I'll be honest. There, when I would watch you on the show, there's always something I liked about you. And then we ran into each other at the gas station, <laughs> and we looked at each other, and we kind of went like, "Hey," mm -hmm. and I you went you. like, "Hey," yeah. And that was the end of it. That's, yeah. and, that, and that's LA. In it's a really a great story. Really We're actually really thinking of story. optioning <laughs> it into a movie. <laughs> But um, now that you're there, do you, especially right now when it's real cold in New York, do you miss being out here at all? Uh, no. No, you don't. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's snowing in New York, or it was snowing yesterday when I left. So um, that that I miss. I miss. The How York old were you when you first moved to LA? I was 23 years old. You're from Texas originally, yeah, right? Yeah, from Austin. Austin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I moved here. Then. 23 yeah. years old. And did you move out here for the OC, or is this pre no? No, OC? I had no. You had no, nothing. Nothing, nothing. I bought a, uh, my, the first car that I bought, I moved out here with no car, which is obviously not going to work. If you right, want to yeah, no, you need a car here. Need a car. Uh, so there was I, no Uber back then. <laughs> there was no yeah. Uber, yeah. Uh, I bought a, um, a 1986 Cadillac Deville. What year was that? 1986. This was 2003. It was 2003, okay. 2003, I bought so, a 1986 Cadillac Deville. It was Deville. 17 years old it then. It was 17 years old. Yeah, okay. It had 228,000 miles on it. Oh, wow. I bought it for $500. Um, Still seems like too much. See, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that did not include the hundred I had to slip the guy to pass the smog inspection. Because, oh, is that right? Yeah, it was never going to pass. You that. can do that? Well, you know. Probably I didn't know that. that. Interesting. Um, it was a mess. There was no radiator. Um, car would overheat if I uh, if I wanted to get to an audition. I was in the valley. I was sleeping on a friend's floor in his apartment uh -huh. in the valley. Uh, if I wanted to get to an audition in Santa Monica, I'd have to like leave. You know, two three hours. Did you have that car when you started the OC? Yeah. You did? Yeah. And did people make fun of you, your castmates? They did. The producers actually got me a rental car. <laughs> they did? <laughs> to drive to the pilot because they were worried that that thing was going to, we were in like Topanga or somewhere. It was going to worry it was going to die on the pilot. Yeah. So, um, so they rented me a car. And then when the series was picked up, I, I bought a new car. And now you're a, a dad with probably car seats in the back of your car? We have two. We ha I believe we have five car seats total in our house, which is crazy because we only have two kids. Why? Because of cabs and stuff Be in New Yeah, York? because of cabs and you travel and, you know, they grow out of them. And I, I don't know. My wife. And the car seat is a nightmarish device. <laughs> it really is. It's like a whole thing yeah. that you want sweating and cursing. and When you travel and you, and you ask ask the car company to do it, the, they, won't. Li they won't. They won't. They won't put it in. You got to put it in yourself. Make us responsible. Liability. And the car companies give you the cheapest, crappiest they car do. seat. It's like made out of, it's like an old fender from like a, <laughs> yes. an electric yes. car in the 90s, yes. you know? Yes. Yeah. This bit is going over big with these Yeah, guys. no, it is. They love it. It's not, you know what? Not too many people appreciate it, but the ones who do oh, yeah. really will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, well, I don't know if you're aware of this, but your wife is Morena Baccarin from Deadpool and a whole bunch of you're different just things. You're that photo. Yes. Yeah. Just... Why you're you guys... that photo up there with no context. I feel like that needs to be explained. That, so our daughter's third birthday was on Saturday. Uh huh. The theme was babies, which is what she calls her dolls. So you guys don't usually wear diapers don't... around. Yeah. Oh well, look, Jimmy. There's there's daylight <laughs> hours and there's nighttime <laughs> hours. And what happens after the kids go to sleep? Um. So we, we thought it'd be cute if the adults wore diapers, too. So I would answer the door for this party. I see. <laughs> wearing a diaper. The kids freaked out. Kids hate. They, they hate. They were literally, they were terrified. Once you hit three years old, you don't diapers or then you're a baby. You don't want any part no, of diapers. No, but there's a grown man, you know. Yeah, that's weird, too. Pretty weird. Yeah. Pretty weird. As an adult, birthday parties are unpleasant enough to go to. Oh, and no. then you're forcing people to put on diapers. Oh, it's... Who went and bought the diapers? You did. Yeah. So you went and got, you went to the store and you got a bunch of diapers. You're like, like I have a grandfather at home or what? <laughs> I, didn't, I, I, I wore a baseball hat and I tried to do this as quickly. As that would have been a, where is TMZ when you need them? I know. Right? <laughs> You're walking with a giant case of Depends. Yes. Yes. So um, you uh, actually wrote this episode uh, of 
of Gotham, right? Yeah, I did. I started writing on the show last year, and I wrote the one that airs this week. How strict is it? Like, can you do... Can you, do you have a lot of creative control, or is there a real tight framework within which you have to work? Well, the story is broken by the room. So we sit in a room, the writers, and we, we, we work on the story together, and then you're... Yeah, you're off to your own devices. And then you flesh it out. Yeah, and then, you know... But you couldn't get... write, like, uh, Gordon goes to Hawaii in this one, right? You know, I, it's funny you should mention that. You do know, you, you go you to... Try... <laughs> <laughs> that would be shot down. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, yeah, you're, you're a little bit of a tightrope there. You know, this is the final season of the show. This is the... F you guys waited five seasons for Batman to become <laughs> Batman. He's just been a guy, uh, and now he's going to be yeah, Batman. It's really going to pay off now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we finally built it up long enough. How long is he going to be Batman? Will it just oh, be for the last be, episode? It's going to be for minutes. Oh, uh, really? Is yeah, that I true? Mean, long, long time. Long time. <laughs> is that right? I can't reveal. I can't reveal that. Oh, you can't that. say it. No. But it could be early in the season? It could be. Well, we're on episode 9 of 12 this oh, okay, week. Okay, so then I don't no. Think it's yeah. going to be that early. As you know, because you're Barely watch any it. Batman. <laughs> there's yeah, some maybe Batman. there's a Batman in the show, I would watch it. But oh. Batman, oh my gosh, what's going that's on? It's ba if Batman is yeah. angry. Oh, that's the, you know what? Those are the fighter jets for the Captain Marvel premiere. Oh. They're flying jets over the, over the thing. See that? Terrifying. Marvel just screwed with DC in a yeah, huge wow. way. Yeah, <laughs> why? Now they're just messing with us. They're just showing off at this point. Let's <laughs> fly some fighter jets over his live interview. Will, will Commissioner Gordon become the commissioner? Oh, yeah. And with a mustache and everything. Wow. Yeah. Because the real commissioner, not that you're not the real commissioner, <laughs> the first commissioner... Yes. In the, in the TV show, did not have a mustache. Correct. In the comic, though, which is, you know, what we base everything on, yes. there was a mustache. Yes. Will you grow your own mustache, or you probably shot this already? I had two days to grow it. And? <laughs> and? <laughs> and what? I don't what know. Do you, what do you think? And I grow it in and two days. And you failed, I guess. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. <laughs> and they stuck a thing on me, you know? They stuck a thing and on me. And it looks great. Where is that mustache? Did you save it for posterity? Uh, like this oh, yeah, a... that's going to go to the vault somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. same with the diapers. Well, it's great yeah. to see you. Please <laughs> give you. your wife my, my best I and uh, the people at the friend. diaper store, too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ben McKenzie. Welcome. Thursday nights, 8 o'clock on Fox. Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.